Wagwan viewers and subscribers, welcome back to my channel once again. People, much love and appreciation as usual. So, people, um, may I talk about a news article that I read earlier, which involved a Jamaican living in New York, people. So, may I break it down a little for you now and tell you what I'm going so this guy worked at a burger king in i think in 2020 them say and for what reason he was fired or he left the restaurant um i'm thinking they said he was fired i think that's what they said he was fired and he worked at a restaurant before the people and he went back to that same restaurant and rob the restaurant and now think about it how much money can you get from a fast food place at that eh he left jamaica go over new york in america before you try and make better your life before you try to do something with your life you decide if you take up gun and go rob people you see me left jamaica in a crime already rampant in jamaica and this brother instead of say boom him escape it even though crime is everywhere in the world at least you get an opp opportunity for make something of yourself no still take up the gun figure rob and kill people very very sad situation people very very sad so I'm going to read in an article from Jamaica Observer where it goes on to say Jamaican charged with killing teen Burger King cashier during a robbery in New York. It goes on to say a Jamaican immigrant has been slapped with multiple charges relating to the murder of a 19 year old woman during a robbery at a Burger King in New York on Sunday. Winston Glenn, 30, was charged with first-degree murder and robbery in relation to the killing of Crystal Byron Naives at the fast food chain store in East Harlem. According to the New York Post, police sources said Glenn is not a U.S. citizen and is from Jamaica. His listed address in the United States is Queen's Days Inn. Police investigators, aided by CCTV footage, tracked down and arrested Glenn on Thursday. Allegations are that about 1 a.m. on Sunday, an armed robber entered the restaurant and pistol whipped a customer and punched the night manager in the face he reportedly then proceeded to the counter where byron naives worked as a cashier the male robber demanded cash and the woman gave him us 100 dollar but he was not satisfied so people this young lady this young lady was complying with his demands she was giving him what he wanted was money and think about it people how many times have you gone to a fast food restaurant and pull out cash hey people is not a lot of times you go to a fast food place and just have cash in your wallet to pay 90 percent of people pay with card fam 90 percent of people pay with card so by him wanting cash out of the register of course you're gonna give him what is in there and 19 year old she not oh, she not own the place she not think about oh no i'm not gonna give him the money of course may i'll give him the money people i have been held up at gunpoint and a rob before and the man walked into the store and he said give me all of the money in at the register what thing me do at the whole register pan me i put in it but he was so picky him said no want the register pan if you take out the money out of it you see me people is not my establishment somebody come in there for rabbit i'm giving him everything so this is what that young lady was doing he asked for money she started giving money so it goes on to say 
The male robber later shot Byron Naive while she was crouched behind a second cash register she was attempting to open to give the robber more money. He later fled the scene. So yeah, people, now she, as I said before, she's complying with this demon. She's complying. She went to another register, people, to give him more money. And while she was doing that, this demon shot her. This demon shot her and then fled the scene. My God, people. It goes on to say, although Glenn worked at the same restaurant in 2020, investigators do not believe it was a targeted attack, the report said. Police sources also informed the New York Post that Glenn had several previous arrests including menacing with a weapon at a homeless shelter he was residing up to the time of his arrest so he's not even a u.s citizen you know people why them never just fling him away eh no send him back to jamaica just fling him where people i mean i know where you are fling him but not fling him nowhere else but in our hole or something my god people he goes on to say he is to reappear in court on January 19th following an appearance Friday in which he reportedly yelled at the judge who he accused of being a liar. So he's accusing the judge of being a liar. They're saying it's not him or he's saying it's not him that did the killing. But if them have surveillance footage, unless they have a twin, I mean, if you talk up and let the police them know if him have a twin or not. Because it's very, very sad that... Why you had to kill her? 19 years old. Eh? 19 years old, people. So, I'm going to read you a few comments what people said. Him, I go surely feel it from Uncle Sam. So, the fire soon increased to clot. Lock him up in the deepest dungeon and throw away the key is people like him give with country bad name as we say people crime already rampant in jamaica for this brother leave jamaica and gone somewhere else go continue the same violence we are going to jamaica people i them i give bad name i them i give jamaica bad name it's very very sad as we say people because think about it you know people like majority of times if it's not uh, a direct hit if I know somebody send out a hit for you most of the times that they get robbed them just take what they want and and go and leave you but it had to be a Jamaican that got what he want but it wasn't enough but he still killed her like you said the people him still kill the young lady even though him get what he asks for him could have said all right let me leave and go about my business all right me do a little one thing me never get what me want all right but he had to kill this poor young girl can you imagine the parents of this young girl people knowing that your daughter they are work they are working you know, it's not like she out a club she are, she out there do something what she know if do she is working trying to make an honest living and to get a phone call that your daughter died at work oh my god man i can't phantom what the parents them i got you it's just very sad and unfortunate that the world is so cruel and heartless nowadays people it's very 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 sad but people yo, once i get more information on this i will you know let you guys know all right so please remember hit the subscribe button to yard and abroad tv bless up in yourself much love and appreciation as usual people bless up all right love you know